So Japanese Prime Minister Mr. Suga uh, reportedly went to a really expensive stickers um, in near Ginza and dined with several notaries, including this very important person in the Liberal Democratic Party, Mr. Nikai, who is the, uh, in fact, de facto kingmaker in Japanese politics nowadays and who has actually made Mr. Suga the Prime Minister. Anyway, so this was reported by a Japanese TV station, uh, Fuji Television, and it made a stir on the social network because Mr. Suga has repeatedly said that maybe we should refrain from dining uh, with people. Uh, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have been running. Um, you know, with more, with more than five people, that, that's a good, bad idea. That's what Mr. Suga has been saying uh, because uh, you can have the coronavirus spreading among people and you can have clusters of uh, cases and so that it's not a good idea to die with more than four friends uh, but uh, Mr. Suga uh, dined actually with uh, seven other people or eight people in total reportedly and you know uh, that included a really famous uh, baseball player, former baseball player, and an actor, and a TV personality. So, um, you know, the Fuji Television Network uh, report pointed out the fact that it is inconsistent with what Mr. Suga has been saying, that we should not dine with more than five people in total. So, you know, that's a contradiction, and it's an interesting contradiction, and especially given the fact that it is a really expensive steakhouse, uh, you know, it's uh, a uh, ripe ground for news making. But interestingly, um, NHK doesn't report on these things. I mean, if this was the BBC, the BBC would probably report with vengeance because, you know, it's really funny in a way. And the Prime Minister having a really nice stick with her friends and which the group num number of people in the group are exceeding the said uh, limit of dining, uh, you know, that is it ori ori originally and, you know, um, by personally from the Prime Minister himself. So it's a really interesting and funny case. And as I said, uh, BBC would have reported on the controversy, uh, you know, citing um, leaders of the opposition and so on. But NHK doesn't do that these things. So. I, I'm really, really, you know, curious why the NHK doesn't do that. I mean, it's such a juicy material. I'm not referring to the steak and here. Uh, it's such a juicy material for, you know, news making, and uh, it's a huge missed opportunity. But uh, probably the NHK doesn't uh, think that, uh, you know, reporting on steaks and, you know, <laughs> number of customers are attending. A steak dinner uh, is not worthy of the you know, journalistic um, discretion. Anyway, uh, so this um, is a case where you know um, Japanese media falls short of what is expected, uh, what would be reasonably expected internationally. This is a wonderfully juicy scandal. Not in term, only in terms of sticks, but in terms of politics and um, NHK doesn't report on it. Uh, what a shame! Maybe they should, you know, get together and discuss these matters over some sticks. <laughs> All of them are in the newsroom at NHK.